So I want to show you guys Area 51 client today. When you buy the client through the Discord server, there is a installer that you can download and basically all you have to do is download it. You open it up, you select to one, and I'm not going to do it because I already have it installed, but basically you just select one, enter, it'll ask for your key, and then it'll ask if you want to, I believe, reinstall Melon Loader, and then you select yes for that. So it's a pretty easy install. Um, and I'll just go ahead and open the client now and show you guys the client. Now, if I click the little button down here, which it should be more like right here. It depends how many other clients you have running. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Um, we have a worlds button right here, which, you know, you have all these options in here too. Um, force pickup, I believe, just allows you to uh, pick up objects that you can't normally pick up. So maybe... If they're locked to the master only, uh, you have freeze pickups, which I believe only allows you to, well, it prevents other people from being able to pick up stuff. Um, then I'll go ahead and go to the player tab. You change avatar by ID. You have all these other options too. Um, and I believe the head flipper, which isn't really seen on most other clients, uh, at least not that I'm aware of. Uh, basically, I believe if you have this turned on, your head will like flip upside down for other people, which is kind of like a funny thing. Um, under the movement tabs, you have this stuff here. I believe jetpack is just if you hold jump, you just could keep flying and flying. Uh, you have exploits here. You have event exploits. So you have like these options in here too. Um, serialization, you know, just prevents you from, well, from other people being able to see you walk around. Um, this is a, another event exploit, which air rapes everybody's mic. Um, you also have avatar exploits here, which these are just crash avatars, which I don't recommend crashing just random people like that. Um, we have safety, we have network safety. These are just protection from being crashed or whatever. Um, also have avatar safety too. So this is a anti-crash for avatars. Um, and then there's also bots where you can actually have application bots, kind of like Serenity or uh, I think Notorious Clients has it as well. Uh, I haven't used their bots yet, but um, there's that option in here too. There's also game cheats, so you have Area 51 engine. Um, this is just basically, I think, it just will scan all the Udon events, and then you can also send your own custom Udon event. You can also find other Udon events, which I believe this just basically spams every udon event in the world um and then there's more pre-specific presets i guess you can say for these worlds so among us you have all of these game cheats in here uh murderer four four uh you have all these ones here too uh just b club you have these ones you could also manually enter the rooms even if they're locked uh, there's also Just H, which allows you to hit the, well, be able to go into the room that is VR only. Movie and chill, you could basically just teleport random people around. Um, sovereigns, same thing, you could respawn everybody. And then you also have a name spoof for Udon, which, like I said, I'm not malicious. I wouldn't recommend you doing this just to random people like that. Uh, there's also settings, you have performance, there's all of these options in here as well. You have render, which there's a player list, which I don't have turned on, log list, nameplates, ESP, you can see blocked players and whatever else is in here. There's also logging here as well, where you can log all of these items. So you can log RPCs, um, Unity, VRCA logger, avatar logger, Join leave log. You just have a lot of logging capabilities in there. You could also change the theme, which is pretty cool. Um, there was this one retro that I liked. You could have like a galaxy. There's also all these other ones too, which are pretty cool. Uh, you can change the button color too. But uh, I'll go ahead and leave that one, I guess. Uh, that's pretty much it for the Area 51 menu. Now, the next thing that I want to show you guys on Area 51, if you go and select on somebody, this is just somebody random. There's Area 51 options here. And uh, for these specific maps, you can actually send events specifically to this, you know, just to one specific person only. So it looks like there's another game one too, Battle Disc. Uh, 
you could respawn everybody in truth or dare and then you know you just oops cancel uh let me reselect somebody again which i'm not going to demonstrate because i don't want to do anything malicious but you know you do have all those options uh there's player options you could teleport you could copy their user id there's avatar options there's a re-uploader where technically hot swap it or re-upload it to your account which i don't do so i'm not going to go ahead and i'm not going to demonstrate that um you can download vrca you could force clone a avatar that has been uploaded publicly but if their cloning's off you can still you know force clone it it does not allow you to force clone private avatars though you have more vrca info which probably shows like upload date and stuff like that um there's also safety options anti udon you could turn off their udon events um fun options you could basically orbit all items in a world around people you could imitate their voice where you play their mic through your mic and then you have spy on them which this client does have a lot of features on it there's a lot of things that i'm not going to demonstrate because i don't like to do malicious things but that pretty much wraps it up for Area 51 client. I'll have all the links in the description. And if there's another client you guys want me to go over, you can go ahead and leave a comment or you could post in my uh, Discord server, which will also be in the description. But I'll see you guys on the next video.